Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Uriel, the archangel. God is our light. God is our fire. Nope, not wooden. He's a false god. Quit acknowledging false gods on God's days. Huh. Wow. 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 Um, what's being taken place is, wow, I, I, I wish I could describe it to you. To what extent, um, to your understanding, wow, what's being taken place is amazing. Bible prophecy is just crazy. I mean, I mean, as you should check out that it's official. Now Russia is can move their jets uh, in Iranian space. Wow. Oh my God. Gog and Magog and Persia. Right there. Ezekiel. Right there. Wow. 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 Um, look. All I got to say is this. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Not the power of your might, but the power of his might. This hour we live in, in is, words cannot describe it. This is it. This is approaching the end times big time. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is like, the script, like the post says, look at the Bible and look at the news, and they just match. It's just that crazy. Um, uh, I, you know, the thing is, you know, get ready for God's divine plan. Oh, travelling, travelling, travelling. I truly believe that birth is coming very soon. Well. A full moon is coming. I hear that it's going to be a solar eclipse going to happen. I hear that. I'm not sure. I'm going to check up on that and see if that's going to happen. That would be crazy if a solar eclipse is going to be happening very soon because a full moon is going to be tomorrow. And wow, 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 what a period we're living in. But it's time to build a ship. Time to build a relationship with God. The days of Noah and the days of Lot should be right before your eyes. I mean, especially the days of Lot concerning the, you know, uh, homosexuality and transgender movement uh, is pushing its way out, way everywhere. Days of Lot is official. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to get real crazy. It's going to get real nuts. But those that are establishing a relationship with God, those that are uh, praying, those that are uh, fellowshipping the word of God, those are sh sharing the word of God with people and what's going on, y'all are getting ready for something that is in human. I mean, this is human history or biblical history. I mean, this is the biblical proportions that is taking place and being position and set up right now it's amazing but i want to talk to uh the people that are doing pokemon go um now i heard this long time ago uh, uh concerning pokemon uh not just you know when pokemon go but concerning pokemon that i learned someone did a study on pokemon that pokemon the name of these Pokemon uh, fighters that y'all are collecting are the name of demons. Yes, the name of demons. Now, I'm, this is for a warning. I'm presenting a warning to you that I hope you must understand what I'm going to tell you. I mean, the thing is, hey, what you do after this warning of you, but I found out, and and I, I I remember when I heard about the Pokemon guy, and it's like, oh, it's evil and stuff. It I what came back to my remembrance when I saw a show one time, long time ago, when Pokemon, you know, I think a year or two years just came out, 
that the person was talking about an uh, interview and saying that the name of the Pokemons are named after demons. And now this is important that they're named after demons. Because if now they have a Pokemon Go that you're put capturing the the Pokemons and you're training the Pokemons. See what the the rules of darkness know about this idea uh, about mirror. You know, so they, the mirror of uh, those that know about the Illuminati and all the Freemasonry know about the ideal they see about the mirror. Things about mirroring itself. You know what I'm saying? They know about the mirror. I know about the spiritual mirror too. God taught me about it. That that when when comes the time, you know, when I'm talking about this time uh, that's going to happen, when things are mi mirrored, because when you see like the capturing the Pokemon and stuff like that, what happens is things are going to flip the script is more like it's going to flip the script. It's going to be like not only the idea of your capturing the Pokemon and tr uh, training and whatever, the uh, Pokemon now capture you and start training you. Yeah. Um. Yes, this tactic is something that they have learned and uh, and 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 knew about concerning this kind of. Evil, uh, our practice of it's a spiritual practice. It's a spiritual practice about now. You know, you collect, you know, but now they're collecting you. It's crazy. Um, that you need to be well aware of this idea, what's going on concerning this Pokemon Go situation that may be coming because if I thought about this, you know, if Satan is going to plan something huge and big, what would he do to really make a great impact concerning this what's going on around the world pretty much of all these wars and rumors of wars and everything, pestilence, we got everything. Everything that Jesus said is happening right now. And it's crazy to what repeated rapidly uh amount is happening. It's crazy. That Jesus is accurate. Of course, Jesus is accurate. He's the Son of God. What do you expect? Well, anyway, um, uh, yes. Uh, but if he has a plan concerning something that's monumental and global concerning the ideal of Pokemon, that will be it. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you're, like I said, it's the idea that, you know, you're capturing it. But one day it's going to flip the script and it's going to be the Pokemon capturing you. Because, and, and the thing is, we're not so, it's not right, it's, it's wrong, wrong to speak the name of demons. Because when you speak the name of demons, th those that knows about uh, demonic possession and uh, uh, stuff like that, Wooji boards and all that, you empower that uh, demon when you speak the names of these and you give more power to them. See, the more you acknowledge the power, they will have power to when they the script is flipped, they will have power over you. That I want you to understand about that. Yeah. Um, but uh that's not really the message, but I want to uh tell you that. But guys, we are living in a period that, oh my gosh, I cannot I wish I can really tell you. I don't know how to really tell you. Being so serious, I don't know how to tell you because. But look, I hope and pray that you, you know, have those that have eyes to see and ears to hear, you know what I'm saying, need to understand in their heart what's going on right now and what is preparing. Because look, what's what's preparing right now is supposed to, I hopefully, compel you to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. That Jesus Christ, of course, is going to be the answer of what is going on right now concerning the uh, what the rulers of dark, the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness, the spiritual wickedness, high places are positioning themselves. Oh, I talk about the evil day. Yeah, yeah, I talk about the evil day. The evil day is being uh, staged right now. It's gonna is in Ephesians six and thirteen talks about the evil day. And it's being staged right now. And look, it's time to get ready for war, Christians. 
It's time to really uh, get united uh, in fellowship and follow the scriptures and get ready for this war. And I encourage you to read Ephesians uh, 3 and, you know, at the end of, near the end of that, that it talks about, you know, the principalities and the powers of heavenly places. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to be known by the church. The church is supposed to know that whatever is going on, going on. But when the church is divided and doing whatever they want to do, they will not be aware of the situation that's going on right now. That we are supposed to come against these enemies. But in And it talks about the mystery of fellowship. But fellowship is supposed to be the fighting ground of how we're supposed to combat these forces that are coming together. You know what I'm saying? And and of course, fellowship is supposed to be the main thing according to Acts 2.42. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, if you're serious about the kingdom of God, you'll be serious about fellowship. <laughs> you'll be serious about fellowship in the word of God with and, and what's going on around us and with other people. Best way as you possibly can, whether it's at school, whether it's at job, whatever, whatever you are at, it's important to share the word of God and, 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 and come in agreement with the word of God, with people concerning the truth of the word of God, to prepare for what's going to happen very soon that we must understand and, and that it's going to happen, whether you like it or not, you know, whether you're sleeping comfortable in this world system or not. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Being spiritual sleep is a big no-no right now. Big no-no concerning the events that are happening and the tragedies that are going on around the world. Oh my God, I'm looking at these tragedies and I'm like shaking my head to wonder if Christians understand the urgency of truly following the word of God to what it's saying in the utmost way is I hope that those or you the, like I said, there's the chosen few, and there's many are called, few are chosen. You know what I'm saying? Whoever the chosen few are, are you? it's time to unite with other Christians to be about the truth and telling people that it's must time for fellowship and unity. Whatever you got to do to unify the body of Christ, do it in fellowship. It's time in the utmost way because... That's what's going down to get ready for this uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 is going to take place very soon. And that's the best thing you can ever do to be a part of the children of the light is what it's all about. If you really want to truly be about the divine plan of God, just fellowshipping, talking about the word of God, talking about, you know, our uh, living the word of God, how talk about our struggles You know what I'm saying? Asking for encouragement, prayer from other saints. You know what I'm saying? Read 1 Thessalonians 5. Paul gave us the blueprint of what we need to be doing at this time, at this hour. uh, The instructions pretty much. And be as serious about it because it's going down. It's it's, It's happening. It's being prepared right before our eyes. So I hope you understand that 1 Thessalonians 5 is a must to be performing right now and be ready for war, spiritual warfare, and those that are light will receive victory. Those that are darkness will defeat, have defeat. So that's the message. I hope you understand it. And I don't know what the topic of this message, but God bless you to God be the glory here and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.